Good afternoon, boss. Good afternoon. I'm Rachel. And I'm Carl. And we do not have work clothes on today. No, and as you see, there's a giant rock there. And there's cabins out there. But you are watching Happy's Lawn Care and Landscaping. We decided to drive all the way to Tennessee to give somebody some shirt. <laughs> not really if you guys seen the video on the other chat on our other channel mm -hmm. that's where we took our little vacation to townsend tennessee right yeah so if you want to go over to happy's family farm we have that video and we did have visitors that live kind of close to here um so we were very honored to have them come over and have dinner with us last night but we forgot to give them shirts that i we did bought. so we are going to go meet them maybe at one of their jobs so we can yeah good and it's one well, and i met a new friend yesterday yes. i have a new friend fletcher's my friend now <laughs> so he held my hand we took a walk and i have a shirt for him too cool so, cool yeah. so we're gonna go ahead and go meet them over there and say hi all right let's go let's go here guys no they must have just been gone finished oh was it was that good timing oh, oh man they got an awesome view up here yeah this is so pretty guys look at this look who i found hey, hey. Hi. i was telling everybody we came all the way out to tennessee to visit our favorite youtubers oh good to see you <laughs> good to see hey you. uh you ought to get that 61 a whirl and see what you think about it the sit down one no the Oh, oh, that one? Behind. Oh, I don't care. I can. You should see it because yours is uh, yours 48, right? Yeah. yeah. See if you notice any difference. Of course, my sulky is different. You just load it up, XL, though. XL, XL, right? Man, this is a nice view you have here. Yeah, I've, I've recorded a few here. Oh, these are the wheels that you were telling me about. How many to mow today so far, Wes? One? No, two. This two? is second. Both of them was out here. You did more than me. We're behind. We had 14. But you see, right there. Oh, wow. What happened? You got a flat? Yeah, on the stairs flat. Oh, that stinks. You ever had that happen? Yeah. Been there. I, I, try, I most of the time don't have a spare. Well, once I was on 40. And I got two flat tires, and I had about that much base. I had to pull over to the guardrail right off of 40, because I was dragging. And man, it was so dangerous to change them tires on Highway 40. Oh yeah, um, that's the good thing about having dual axle, though, right? <laughs> Look, we got a new employee. A new employee, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm gonna actually make Fletcher come on over and work with us too. I gave Is your Fletcher phone number on here? No. 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 Oh, it's a good thing because y'all have all kinds of work from here. <laughs> yeah, we don't we don't put our phone numbers. Yeah, we used. Wouldn't to. you come on this side of the mountain to uh, mow? No, two hour drive, man. Even though it's sixty something miles. You know what? I'd love to have. You know what? If everybody goes over and subscribes to you guys, they can watch you mow this side of the mountain, and we'll mow that side of the yeah, mountain, they right? Yeah, the you know, family yeah. lawns. Yes, I would love. Look at our you know where you're oh, camping oh, at? Uh huh. <laughs> I actually I, had I, a few I, in that area. I, I mean, in fact. Right past where y'all camping, I had some, and I thought, man, I'd love to build my business here because I just love the area. Just yeah, love it's the beautiful down there. But now I have one in town and one, and I only go there every now and then. It's a small yard, and he pays me a hundred bucks, and it's about, uh, it's probably about ten miles. Yeah, and, you know, I mean, I'm going out of my way to do it, but you know, me and Mariah, when we do it. We go to kind of visit towns. Yeah. I would love to get a bunch of yards in town. Yeah, it is really pretty there. Like, even here. Well, you're not too far from the mountains, yeah. though. That's only about, what, four miles that way, that mountain. Yeah, but now where we live, we're actually about, I think we're probably 10 miles from the mountains. So you're further in the flat yeah, we're area. Yeah, the foothills, I guess. And Wes right told us we live out here, that way. All the way around the mountain. 
See the big mountain out there, guys? We live right on that. We only live we only live 69 miles that way. But it's just so long of a drive through the mountains. But here's a good start to the morning, guys. I don't know. I guess we got back from picking up plants yesterday and I left the battery the truck on for some reason. I noticed it when I was in the garden. So we're gonna see if I can jump this with the mower. I've done it before. I forgot to bring my hat back in. Good morning. Good morning, boss. Yes, I'm Rachel. And I'm Carl. And you're watching Abby's Lawn Care and Landscaping today. We're back to work. It's Wednesday. Yeah. We're supposed to get rain soon, probably mm -hmm. by like 12, one o'clock. But you never know. You really never know in this area you and, really don't <laughs> oh and you guys seen in the beginning of the video we went over to tennessee and met somebody yeah West. so hopefully you guys um will remember to put the link in yeah but make sure you guys go on over and subscribe to to subscribe to ratliff family lawns and um we want to get them over a thousand yeah they're awesome people we've yeah. met them a few times they hung out with us at the koa um, and they're hopefully going to come back over to Asheville one day, mm -hmm. but they're busy too. It's a husband and wife team. They have their son working with them. So yeah, always busy, but you know, it's nice. It's just a really pretty area and we have to take the time for the kids. They're only young once. And, um, this was able to take time with the kids, but then also get to meet we'll get to see them again yeah we did yeah we meet did them meet once. them once mm -hmm. so. but we're gonna get out and mow we have we're gonna mow probably five first this morning or four or five i'm not uh might be four mm -hmm. um and then i gotta fertilize these two and then we're gonna go back out if it rains this afternoon we'll probably go back out after the storms and do our hard development with yeah. all the hills and mow and fertilize them so all that, fun stuff. that should be fun yeah. But let's get out and go. All right. Okay, guys, here's number one for the day. Maybe I'll... two and three here not too bad this is seven no eight days so we'll get it done and i'll show you now okay i'm done this one here mowing the hill rachel you can watch her finish up there really humid out here it's not I don't think it's too hot it's just so humid so humid I don't even use these racks guys 
If I had a pen, I would, but I don't have a pen right now. Oh, I only hope so, but I doubt it. So I don't know if Tony used to watch us from Imperial Services. He gave me these racks and yeah. I gotta say, these are good racks. You don't even have to buckle your tools in <laughs> and it makes it about five miles down the road, couple bumps. Okay, yeah, I, <laughs> I put it up there for a second. That's the second time I did that though. I mean, but I think if it fell here, yeah, it would destroy it, but <laughs> I don't use racks. So the boss is complaining that she heard thunder. Um, just to let you know, we did get a special weather statement. Really, man. So, um, and guys, look, the groundhog jumped on here. Sunflowers. Okay, we're gonna go try to mow a couple real quick before we get hit by the storm. And do I need to move this somewhere else? Oh. We came to this one before the other one because it's raining in there. Hopefully we don't get rained out on this one, but I think we have plenty of time. So let's get it done. Okay guys, we only got the front done so far. I think we are gonna get wet. I think it's gonna rain, so I'm gonna go start weed eating real quick and I'll keep you guys updated. So hopefully not, but we're almost done the front. This is the longest part, so this would be the hardest part. Everything else is like really thin. nice so we made it through this one guys i don't think we're gonna be able to go do anything else it like filled in all around us i mean we could run over to site one but no point of wasting gas so we'll just have to see it says it's supposed to be raining until almost five and i don't know if i want to go back out after five so we are at our next one we've done four so far and the boss told me she wanted to know what it feels like to mow in some heavy rain. Oh, is that what I said? So she decided she wanted to do the next one. She seen everybody else mowing in the rain and wanted to have fun like that. Really, ma'am? Right? So we're going to get out and mow this one. I'll get you some cool shots of Rachel mowing in the rain. Okay, I'm hoping that um, it's it, not too wet around the corner. Oh, uh, yeah, should... we'll get through there. Okay. Just stay close to the burning bush. Um, I did that before, and I slid all the way into the middle of Well, I'm not going to lie to you. If it starts pouring down rain, you might be in a little trouble back there. But we'll get that on video, guys. Oh, right. Great. So, let's go, because <laughs> I feel it coming down more. So, here's the next one, guys. I'm going to see if I can set you up to watch her a little bit.
Okay, you see we made it through that one. Got a little bit wet. And thunder. See the rain there, guys? See that rain shift right there, the grayer right in the middle? That's some heavy rain. Cool. That's the good thing about the mountains. You can like see all the storms around. Do you think that'll make it to us, right? Yeah, I think so. Because look, if you look over to the left, it's like all there too. Oh, it's like all really misty. You want to see, guys? See the mountain? See that? Okay, I'm going to back in now before it gets too bad. And we'll do our ending. Well, it's 1.50 and we are done for the day, guys. Yeah, this, I don't know if this is here to stay, but it's enough to make me, I mean, I just dealt with, look, well, I still have grass all over my legs, so I just would rather not. Yeah, rather not make a mess. Mm -hmm. We did it in the last one because it's not the best of yard and it's all weed, so we can just run over. We still make it look nice. But yeah, I mean, it still looks we, nice. We just but... wanted to knock that one out. So. But it starts like clumping, so then I have to go over it. Like some areas, I went over it almost three times. So, oh my goodness, we're not even going to make it inside before it starts pouring, you guys. I think it already done yet, did that. I know. That's all right, though. And you know it's funny, I watered every pot in the garden this morning. <laughs> last night when we got home and this morning, I was out there until 10 o'clock last night yeah. watering everything. But that's this is a bonus. When we get this on top of what I watered, uh -huh. it gives the plants an extra revive because they're all in pots. But well, and again, nothing is like rainwater. And remember, or, you know, rain. before we left, I heavily watered a lot of things. Mm -hmm. well, I did it twice to the cucumbers and did you see? I thought they were bush cucumbers because they look like they're kind of climbing my fence over there. No, I don't think that those ones that you got from hens were bush. No? Oh, so I gotta weave them up the fence. Yeah, I didn't think that they were bush. I'll have to see what kind they are, but for some reason I thought that they were definitely. Oh, okay, so I'll weave them up and the fence. what the groundhog ate was the cucumbers that I planted. The ones that the groundhog ate are the Puerto Rico picklers. Puerto so, Rico pickers? Yeah. So, I and I think that they might be bush, but I'm not 100% sure. So, I just plant seeds, you guys. <laughs> no, I just put them in the garden. You guys, yeah. <laughs> and give them water and fertilizer. Yeah, but I did. I pulled a six pack out because they were looking nice. I pulled a six pack out to put them at the sale. And then I guess when we put them back, we just put them down, like down. And the groundhog got to a couple of them. So. Groundhog man. Well, since, that groundhog is giant. Oh yeah. It's I like saw a, her again and oh my gosh, she is giant. She is like mutant groundhog. Yeah, big. Like I, I don't even know how old she is. She has to be like seven years old now. She's been eating off of our land for like seven years. She don't even fit in the trap I have out there trying no, to catch her. We have to get a bigger trap, Coral said. Yeah. <laughs> So since we talked about the garden, I'll show you a little bit at the end of the video what we yeah. got going on. For anybody who doesn't know about that channel, um, it's Happy's Family Farm. Yeah. And we're trying to hit a thousand on that one. Um, you guys have helped us get to 500 and something so far. Yeah, thank you thank so you much. Thank you very much. Yeah, we appreciate it. So, so we, have a, we have a lot of goals for you guys and we really, really appreciate you. Yes. We want you to go over and subscribe to Ratliff Family, Family Lawns. And then we want you to go over and subscribe to Happy's Family Farm so that you can see what else we have going on. You can see our trip and um, more in detail. Do. Yeah. So. And then the farm in more detail. I so. think it's raining harder, boss. I know. So Let's please go. like, comment, share, and subscribe. And be happy. Or at least try. Have a good, have a good night. night. Oh my goodness. We're getting wet, guys. But I love it. I like when we get rain. The mowers get clean. And yeah, I do grease them, guys. Oh boy. Well, that was on all day. <laughs>